Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you guys a um, quick haul. This is actually a couple of different places, um, but I just wanted to share with you some fun dyes that I found recently. A um, couple I've been eyeing for a while and some are new to me. So um, anyway, so let's get started. So the first um, things that I ordered, I ordered these directly from Honey Bee Stamps. And um, here is this like sweet little card that she sent, which I think is really fun. You can kind of color that and add that to like an album or something. Um, but it's just like a really quick little thank you. And um, I really think that's like really sweet and like a nice little fun um, personal touch. Um, and then here is a Honey Bee Stamps uh, social media info. So you can find them at Honey Bee Stamps um, on all of those platforms. And then if you want to check out all of their fun dyes and other things that they have, you can find them at honeybeestamps.com. Um, so there's that. And then um, what I ordered from them, I've been looking for some yellow sequins. I wanted like a more, like a really just faint, faint yellow, like really very um, pastel. And so they had two different mixes. It's probably hard to tell through the bag um, the difference, but this one is definitely a little lighter and this has a slightly darker yellow in there, um, but they are different. So here's the first one. I'm not gonna take them out of the bag just because I don't want it to go everywhere. So this one's called Golden Afternoon, um, but it has some really nice size um, sequins in there and then like some smaller ones. And then I don't know if you guys can see like these little almost gemmy um, looking ones in there. So really, really fun. Lots of different um, textures in there. Like here's some like flat um, little tiny ones. And then um, I like the like the semi cupped or like the, you know, the, I, I don't know what they call those semi cupped, I guess. But anyway, really, really fun mix there. And then this one's called Buttercup. And like I said, this has a little bit darker um, sequins in there. Um, they do, do have some white um, I forgot what these are called, but yeah, they don't have like the little hole in them. So they're like, like kind of like flat, flatter ones, but, but like slightly cupped at the edges. Really cute. And then there's these really fun, like jewel. I don't know if you can see, like here's, oh, I don't know if that, yeah, there's like these like bigger, like jemmy type ones in there. Oh, and some fun little stars. Oh no, those aren't stars. Those are little butterflies. Oh my gosh. So cute. So anyway, really fun little mix. And then, um, I was looking for like a different type of pink. Um, so this one's really cute. It's hard to tell online, but I actually really, really like this one. It's called Mauveless. And, uh, so it's like a really fun kind of mauve -y pink, um, sequin mix. So anyway, yeah, really, really cute. And it's a pretty, I feel, I feel like that's a pretty generous amount. Um, I don't know the ounces, but yeah. And then um, the reason I went on their website was, um, and I can't remember who it was, but they posted a memory decks card with this broom on it, this witch's broom. And um, I asked where she got it and she told me. So I went specifically for this, but the really fun thing about this broom set is it has three layering pieces to go on top of this. And it just gives a really um, nice, like textured kind of um, uh, dimension to it. So, and you can do them in like slightly different colors and that's um, what she had done. And it's really, really cute. And then you have like a witch's hat um, and then different things to decorate the witch's hat with. So there's like some feathers, a skull and crossbones, a pumpkin, some little like patches, um, like a cobweb with a spider, a bow, but yeah, really, really fun little crescent moon there. Um, oh, it looks like that's the, oh, that's my, that's the center of the bow right there. Um, but yeah, really, really, really cute. And then I also, um, ordered just because I was looking at everything on there and I thought this was really, really sweet for Christmas time. I don't have a bell die set and I've been wanting one. So um, I did get these and I think this is really cute to do just a single or you can do like two bells kind of together. But I love that it has this layering piece here and it looks like it works on either of those. So that's kind of nice. And then it has this nice bow that you can layer up and then also the bell um, part that, you know, the, I don't know what you call it, but the part that makes it ring, uh, that also has layering pieces. So, um, super, super cute. And let's see if this, oh, this is called the layering holiday bells. And then this one is called the toil and trouble. 
if you're looking for that, Toil and Trouble. And the cool thing is, let me show you this. So this shows you actually how you can layer up the brown. So this is like if you do it in slightly different colors, then you get this really fun layered effect. I think it'd be really fun to do it like in a purple or you know other colors would be really cute. And then here's a kind of some combinations on um, the witch's hat, but you can really mix and match these. So I really, really like that. This one is so fun, but they're all like just super, super cute. So anyway, um, honeybee, love these. Thanks so much. Super, super cute. Um, and then I have kind of like a little mixture of um, things um, that I had ordered. So this is um, ZF Party. Um, I this I actually got on Instagram. I've been eyeing it for the longest time. It's been in my like saved um, things. But what I thought was really fun is it's it's actually like a heart lock. Um, and I have already some like key dies. So I'm I'm gonna do like a little lock and key probably for Valentine's, which is a ways away. But you know. It's always good to get them now. But anyway, so yeah, it does the lock. That's your base piece. And then um, you have this piece here. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, like, let me just break that off. But yeah, this is your layering piece. Um, so you can do a nice little layer. And then if you want to do kind of a fun little heart texture plate over the top of that, that's really cute. And then if you wanted to do actually a shaker, um, that's what I plan on doing with it. So you have this nice little piece to make this into a shaker. Um, so this would cut out your, um, like your pattern paper, then you would cut out your foam and then your, um, acetate and then another like layering piece for your, like your border. But anyway, super, super cute. And then this right here goes like in the center and that's like the hole for the lock. So super cute. So I've been wanting, like I said, I've, I've had this in my, in my, um, Amazon, saved items and uh finally finally decided to get it so um again that's zf party so and it's i don't know what it's actually called valentine's something um but it's always popping up on amazon so if you just look for zf party it should be um should be there and then um i've been wanting this one for a long long time too this is actually ks craft um, this is like a rainbow, I think like shaker mini album or something it's called. Um, I know it's like rainbow shaker, but it's just, I didn't realize how big this was. I'm so excited. I actually thought it was a lot smaller, um, but still like super, super cute, but actually this is really, really big. So this right here, um, makes your spine, um, for your album. And then this one, I'm kind of assuming makes the um, part that holds all your pages. So you cut that out and then you fold it on the score lines and then glue some of them together. And that gives you like your um, your thing that you can attach your pages with. You do have this piece here, which is a layering piece for your spine. And then um, this actually, you know, goes like that. And that is like your, um, so this would be your album. So that would be like your, um, your front and your back and then also like all your pages so um really really cute and you can see um this piece right here is what allows you to turn this into a shaker um so i and i did see someone and i actually don't recall who it was um that made one of these albums and she did each of these um like a different color sequin you know in rainbow colors that's what i plan on doing with it so as soon as i saw her do that i knew i had to and i like i said this is another one i got on amazon that i've had in my cart for a long long time uh, so super excited about that and then i have this scrap diva um strawberry mini album and then she has like a strawberry shaker like embellishments makes embellishments and i think it's like strawberry shaker dies and um and i kind of wanted some fun like fruit type dies to go with that um just for like spring and summer um so i ordered some stuff from lawn pond but then i also ordered this and i do not know who the manufacturer of this is i did get it on amazon and if you just type in lemon uh, shaker die this comes up and there's a couple in there so a couple people are just selling these individually um, even though they show in the picture both so make sure you look for there's a there is a seller that's selling both of them together um, because it's the same just about the same price to get both than, than ordering it separate but um, this is a really fun one um, that makes I, I really wanted like to do some fun lemon dies 
So um, that's your base piece. And then this is your part to make this into a shaker. And I love that it has like the leaves. So I think that'd be really fun. And you could do like a little, um, like a little white flower, um, like at the top, which will be really cute. And then I love that it does a slice as well. And the cool thing about this is you can do it like a full slice like that, or you could, after cutting it out, you could actually just kind of cut it down the middle and have like a wedge. So I feel like that, that you can do um, both with, but that you can do a shaker as well. So really, really fun, super excited about that. And then that kind of goes along with the rest of this theme. Um, I did the Lawn Fawn, uh, this little stamp set. It's, what is it called? You're the Zest. So it does stamp out a little lemon and then it has all these sweet faces that you can put on there. Um, on the little lemon or you can leave it blank but I really liked the faces and it's you're the zest and squeeze the day so I thought this would be really cute for small embellishments or like make a cute little card and then I, I purchased the die that goes along with it so that's the uh, you're the zest um, die that cuts this guy out so really excited about that one and then um, they have this other die set called strawberry patch so there's that there. And I really, really like this because it does two different sizes of um, strawberries. And then um, it has like the vine and then like the little tops to the strawberries. So I think that is also like a really fun one for albums and embellishments and stuff. And then, um, <coughs> excuse me, they also have Zesty Lemon. And um, this one also, I've, I've seen people use this before and this makes really, really cute embellishments. So you do have the, um, the lemon and the lemon, uh, or excuse me, the lemon slice. And then you also have like the full lemon. I love that this one comes with that tiny little flower um, here, well here and here. So you can kind of layer those, which is really, really cute. And then um, there's like a stem, looks like some stems and the leaves, and then, oh, I didn't even realize it actually has the little faces. Can you see those? So you can put little faces. That's the thing about Lawn Fawn. Their stuff is pretty like cutesy, and they always have like fun little faces and stuff for um, their projects. So, oh, here you go. That's kind of what it, like what it would look like with the face. Oh, it even has the little cheeks. So I can't wait to do that. And then let's see what this one looks like. Um, oh gosh, that's so pretty. So would that be really pretty like for a card front? So I'm starting to make cards more. And um, so this doesn't, yeah, that doesn't have a, a, an, an example, but um, yeah, I'm really trying to do, to make more cards. So that was kind of my purpose behind this, but I'm going to use them for embellishments and stuff too. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that little um, haul. I don't usually do a lot of haul videos, but um, I just thought you might want to see some fun new things. So um, thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you guys on the next one.